When it comes to smartphones, camera performance is more important than it's ever been before. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the best features of the Nokia Lumia 1020's camera. Before we go any further, we'd like to thank AT&T for providing us with a Lumia 1020 to make this video. If you're interested in your own Lumia 1020, you can buy one exclusively from AT&T's website or your local AT&T store. For years now, taking pictures with a smartphone has been somewhat of a compromise, taking a hit in quality for the ultimate portability, pocketability. Sure, your DSLR or point-and-shoot camera can take a much better picture than your smartphone, but it's also a burden to look around everywhere you go. Generally, it has been either one or the other, quality or portability. But there's a new kid on the block, a smartphone that offers a much smaller compromise in both size and picture quality, the Nokia Lumia 1020. Sold exclusively on AT&T, the Lumia 1020 is a perfect blend of camera and smartphone. But what makes it different from the rest? Around back, it has a 41 megapixel sensor, hidden beneath an Oreo-like hump with five Carl Zeiss lenses. It's capable of taking either 34 or 38 megapixel images, though you will mostly use the resulting 5 megapixel image. While 5 megapixels may not sound all that impressive in comparison to other phones that take 8 or 13 megapixel images, it actually is. The information from the 34 or 38 megapixel image is packed down into 5 megapixels, resulting in an oversampled picture, a 5 megapixel image with a lot more detail than your run-of-the-mill image at the same resolution. But that's only part of the story. We've been using the Lumia 1020 for weeks, and we're constantly drawn to take pictures with it practically everywhere we go. The problem is, not every picture turns out quite right. Sometimes you capture too much in the frame, or maybe you zoomed in too far. A unique ability of the Lumia 1020 is reframing a photo after you take a picture. Open the Photos app, select a photo, and tap the Nokia Pro Cam link beneath the photo. From there, tap the Reframe button. Pinch and drag the photo to the desired frame and orientation, and press Save. We use this feature to crop out unwanted parts of a photo, and digitally zoom after the picture has been taken. This unique ability to zoom comes from the original high-res image, and the results are quite impressive. Take the Charlotte skyline for example. We were several miles outside the city and wanted a closer shot. Instead of finding a closer spot to shoot from, we went to a place we're familiar with and took several photos. We later framed the image how we wanted without losing any quality. And my friends and I have been meaning to go to a popular bar in Noda, Growler's Poor House. We took a picture of it and later wanted to see the hours of operation. Even though we took the picture from across the street, we were able to zoom in enough to see it opens at 5 p.m. during the week and at noon on the weekends. Or take the picture of this moth we found on the sidewalk. We snapped a few pictures of it and later decided to crop in. You can see the individual fibers on its wing, something we couldn't even see with our own eyes at the time. However, zooming isn't the only trick up this phone's sleeve for removing unwanted content. Say someone inadvertently walked through your shot. Using the Nokia Smart Cam app, you can erase moving objects from your image. This is made possible by the camera app by taking multiple pictures in a short period of time and extracting the moving objects. It also performs quite well at night and in various low light situations. Using the Nokia Pro Cam app, the automatic settings work pretty well in a broad array of different lighting conditions. But sometimes you may need to tweak the settings yourself. Slide the on-screen shutter button to the left and you will reveal manual controls for white balance, focus, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure. The optical image stabilization allows the shutter to stay open longer without the natural shakiness of your hand ruining the picture, but it also helps to stabilize yourself by leaning against a wall or sitting the phone on a hard surface. For longer exposures, you may need the Lumia 1020 camera grip and a tripod. Using manual settings, we were able to capture this long exposure shot of a church at an intersection and this picture of an old courthouse at night. These images just go to show that the camera on the Lumia 1020 isn't your average camera. Thanks to AT&T for making this video possible. That's going to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, let us know by clicking the thumbs up button below and subscribe to see videos like this one in the future. Be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.